I went through a natural evolution. You can see like it kind of sucked down here, but then we started making an improvement. And then instead of pitching a tool, I showed them a program. Six steps, five to seven steps. Something that consistently worked pretty predictably. Something I could get paid for. Around this time of sophomore year, you're moving away from the time and money thing, like you're getting paid per hour. And in the sophomore year, you're getting paid per program. Without regard to how much your program actually costs you, you are now charging for it, which is pretty cool, I think. So I charge $2,900 a month for my wallet out ready by button seat customer campaign. Cool. Turns out between me and the VAs, it takes us like four or five hours to set it up. Cool. So I'm, I'm moving away from the time for money thing. It's still kind of there. And it's like five, 600 bucks an hour. But now I'm no longer talking about the tool, by the way. I'm talking about the wallet out campaign. We're talking about customer research. We're talking about an ad that you don't lose money on. No discounts allowed. Landing page, thank you page that generates phone calls, notifications so you know their marketing is working in soap opera sequence so you're famous. Cool, right? I didn't once mention click funnels or high level or active campaign or click send or none of that. I didn't mention any tool. It's a program. And what's really, really cool around your sophomore year, you get good at pitching. Just like this. You get paid for a program and you get good at pitching, really, really good at pitching to where like people actually want to buy what you have to sell, which is awesome because now more people are buying what you have to sell. And now you've got a whole bunch of people paying you a whole lot of money. And then by the way, you get a dip for the first time ever. You get a dip. I went through it. David Getzinger went through it. Christine Seal is going through it. You will get a dip because you're in sophomore year because you're graduating from your sophomore year. And how you know when you're ready to graduate from sophomore year is you once again got time crunched. You've increased your prices, you're pitching a program, it's not about the tools, but you're crunched for time, you're still doing time for money. You probably have a VA that's doing most of your setup, you're like, oh my God, I can't deal with all these like questions and these clients and like, I don't know if it's working, but it sometimes works and everybody's like asking me questions and I'm freaking out because I gotta respond immediately and I don't know what to do when you experience a dip. This, by the way, is where most agencies say, screw it, I'm out. I almost did that. I peaked at $42,000 a month and almost said, screw it, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm going to sneeze, by the way. Just kidding. Fake sneeze. That was just right in the eyes. Okay. Um, but most people will go from a pattern where they focus on the tools, find their client, and then they move into a program called the Wallet Out ready by butt the seed customer campaign, the AT pre, ATP program plus plus, whatever you're calling, event boost, it's a program, right? Then they go here, then they hit this dip and some of them, most of them, it's the first time they've ever like hit a dip with their agency, then they freak out. By the way, this happens in college a lot. Freshman year is easy, sophomore year is easy, hit junior year, you don't have the skills, knowledge and abilities to study and you drop out. Happens all the time. Most dropouts happen between your sophomore and junior year when the difficulty goes up, you can go through a transition. But we understand sophomore year.